By now, Bob is spending most of his days on site. You know, I don't know if they're ever going to learn the lesson that, that you get what you pay for. You know, everybody wants to go with the cheap guy and then you end up fixing it. Not His philosophy years. is that if you invest in the craftsmanship now, it'll pay off later. One of the other things that will define this resort from a lot of the other casinos is this depth of design, this depth of feeling and atmosphere. So you'll be able to come and literally spend two or three days, God forbid, not gambling, just looking at the, at, at the beauty of it, looking and taking it all in. While Bob looks at the buildings, his assistant, Paul Duggan, looks at the sky, and he's not happy. The clouds, fantastic job, but under our finished light conditions, we can see all of this three-dimensionality coming out from the previous trade contractor who installed the board. And again, to contract, he was meant to perform a level five finish, which means it must be flat. A bumpy sky doesn't cut the mustard, even if sprinkler caps are a necessary compromise. And the biggest sky in the casino version of St. Mark's Square has to be completely redone. We're looking at optimistically about a 20-day program. It's an expensive undertaking, but worth it to ensure the illusion remains in place and the visitors are awed by its magic. In the pursuit of perfection, sometimes all that glitters really is gold. Just in the ceiling alone in this casino, there's three million pieces of gold leaf. We have about 60 people here at the present who do nothing else all day but pad on gold leaf. space, the central atrium of the casino is filled with scaffolding. It's a moment of truth. The murals are being installed. They've been digitally reproduced from the originals rather than using real painters to paint copies. And the initial intention was to have the artwork done hand-painted by artists. But the sheer scope, the, the massive amount, we've got over 800 murals that have to happen on the job site. Italian experts have been called in to supervise the mounting. They will place 70,000 square feet of carefully reproduced paintings. The casino is quickly taking shape, and a final date is set for the opening, August 28th which signifies easy money in Chinese. It's always good to be on the right side of fate. Outside, the taps go on for the lagoon. A total of 6.2 million gallons of water are needed to fill it and to bring the Venetian to life. The casino floor is also awakening. The switch has been thrown, and for the most part, the electronics work. It seems that Dick won his battle against the rats. With a few minor repairs, the installations can begin. Finally, everything is coming together. <laughs> 